Welcome to oh, our channel. Coffee. Hold on. This is our first travel vlog. This is my husband Jacob and we are going glamping, which is a glamorous clamp camping. We're going to some place called West Virginia Glamping Domes in Alderson, West Virginia. And why not just take you along with us as we video our experience glamping. We'll see you in the next clip. cold one we have ice coming off of our window already and it is only 35 degrees it's going to be a glamping session well not even five minutes in the trip and we're hitting traffic good maneuvering babe oh yep a wreck See tow truck, fireman. Next up is coffee after we got our breakfast and then we will dive into what This is run on empty food review. <laughs> this is what we got for breakfast. I got a big old biscuit with bacon, egg, and cheese, and he got some type of sandwich. And then we got teas and coffees. It's uh, got bacon, egg, tomato, uh, provolone, and some kind of uh, aioli spread, I think. And what's your thoughts on it? It's pretty good. And then here's my big old biscuit. Oh my god. You ready for a bite? Good lord. It's a monster biscuit. Mmm. Mm. Told you their biscuits were good. Alright, cheers. Cheers. Well, there was a buck over there. I was going to zoom in, but Samantha kept driving, so now I can't. I can't show you the, the deer. There's the domes. Ooh. There's a waterfall. I mean, there's where the otters play. I oh, think. I hope we see some otters. There's some kayaks there too. There's the golf carts we're going to be riding in. There's the family one. You have arrived. 
Thanks for that. Oh, there's the firewood check. Yes. And there's the firelight. Foxy Ridge, park here. Or Foxy Ridge. Yes, I was. All right, we have arrived. So our little bathroom with the rain fall shower. Ooh. A little chilly. Heat the blanket. I sure brought my long johns. Oh, look outside though, the fire pit. The fire pit, the grill, the hot tub. Our little camping oasis for the couple days. now that's our view from the side and our view up above uh, you see here there are two lines I told Smack the one was enough and she insisted on bringing a second line So I said, okay, we'll get the second wine. That's fine. Even though it's only a two-day trip. But I can't argue. Oh, hi, honey. How are you doing? What are you talking about? Uh, how uh, beautiful you are in the, clamping, the, the glamping dome. Oh, and the bed's heated, too. Take that out. nice and cozy cooking dinner the owner brought us some cider what are you making I'm making chicken masala chicken masala fried pieces of chicken with mushroom sauce yummy yummy getting ready to change into our loungewear but look at the beautiful view it's getting dark pretty soon we'll be able to see stars from our stargazing spot. Day one, dinner. Thanks to the lovely chef. Cheers. Buon appetito! Alright, so your final verdict on the chicken mozzarella. In the rotation for when we get home. Now, for you at home, she has a varying degree of praise for my food. When she says something is good, that means it's all right. When she says something is really good, that means this is pretty good. And when it's in our rotation of foods we have for dinner, that means it's really good. And this time I use, for the very first time, and look at that induction heat, whatever. What? Induction stove top. I don't know that. Induction, induction stove top? Okay. Never used that before. I had no idea what I was doing. It had different settings. It was like simmer, soup, boil. I'm like, right. what's medium, what's hot? That's all I need to know. But you're about finished with it. That's amazing. And you said, and you, when I laid that plate down, you said, well, that's too much. I can't eat all that. Now look at you.
we are getting in the hot tub. It is really, really cold, but the hot tub is set to 104 degrees. So here we go. We are up making coffee, getting ready to have some coffee and do cocoa in our coffees. Well, not me. That's all you. Let's get started. Breakfast is served with a nice, pretty view. Just sitting by the fire. Part now that you don't have three bags of luggage yes. on your lap? Yes. We gotta go back down the hill though this evening. I mean, tomorrow, with everything again. Exploring along the creek and spotting for otters. to the cabin. 
the dome. s'mores just enjoying this nice and peaceful view it's really amazing here guys fire is going keeping us warm and toasty jacob went to get more wood and we're just sitting here
Gosh, looks like we have a visitor. Dinner is served. Italian sausage, tortellini soup. That's What's kale. your verdict? I mean, it's no, it's no chicken masala that I made, but it comes pretty close. Would I, you add it into the rotation? I would add it into the rotation for sure. Soup by the fire. And you can get somewhat of the stars. All right guys, we're in the glamping dome at night and the floors glow in the dark. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the floors glow in the dark. I'll see if I can get a picture of it. It's truly amazing. It's our last day glamping. We are gonna clean up the cabin, the dome, and then we're gonna head out. Jake's out there starting the fire. It is so frosted. It is how cold it is. The hot tub's frosted. And I'm gonna sit here with my coffee and cocoa and do my devotional. It's fried bread. Super One good. last time making breakfast in the glamping dome. It's super good, but super bad. And breakfast is done. All right, we are leaving our glamping oasis, our beautiful glamping oasis. What's your feelings? I definitely come back. It's peaceful. It's very peaceful. Bye bye, glamping dome. Went to a local bookstore, and now we're getting coffee at the Wild Bee. Wild wow. We are back from our trip. We are home. We're going to go through the books we got and then we're going to do a recap of the trip. So let's we'll do, do the, this. The new books? The yeah, new we'll chapter. do the new books first. This came from a new chapter bookstore in Lewisburg. Let's see, I think these two are yours. Well, that one's mine. Okay, these two are mine. And these ones I got for sports. Okay. So I got one of us is back from Karen in McKinnon. This is the third book of the series that I'm getting ready to start. And then I got The Bones of the Story by Carol Goodman. And then I also got two stickers. So this one says, take me to the bookshop. It looks very autumnly. And then this one is just books and coffee. And I got The Voyage of the Norwal by Andrea Barrett. I got this book because this right here. Capturing a crucial moment in the history of, the, of exploration, mid-19th century romance with the Arctic 
and Jeb Barrett's compelling novel tells the story of a fateful expedition. I love anything with expeditions, anything like that, anything nautical, I'm all about. And then we went to, was it an antique shop? Mm -hmm. Went to an antique shop, and I normally hate antique shops because it's like, you know, 50 bucks for a pair of jeans that have holes in them and you can get at Goodwill or anywhere for six bucks. But I did find two books. Uh, I don't know what this book is honestly about, but I know it's by Barbara Kingsolver. I'm a big fan of her her work. She just won, I think, the Pulitzer for Demon mm -hmm. Copperfield. And then I've been wanting to read this this series for a long time, but I, I always found the third book, never the first, and all the thrift stores, all that stuff. And I was about to buy it at the New Chapter bookstore. But I found it at the vintage shop for three dollars. That's Don Winslow's Power of the Dog, the first book of the, uh, I think the Border Trilogy is what it's called. So yeah, excited to get these two books. And then, I think, I think you're it. I think I did most of the book shopping, right? You did. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. And then we found, while we were, uh, I think right before we were heading over to the Glamping Dome, we drove past another bookstore. Yeah. And this one was not fancy. This is not a, a your typical Barnes and Noble. This was probably a house of some person's library. Library. You know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of the Columbus bookstore. Yeah. What was it called? What's it called? The Book Loft. Yeah, but much dustier. And uh, I'm surprised I found this. Is John Le Carre, I think that's how you say his name. His last book, Silver View. Which I don't. I've been wanting to get one of his books for no, non-fiction, or not non-fiction, but Doctor November. For the event this year, and I don't. It doesn't sound like it's a spy fiction. It, it, it's about some guy settles in an English sea town, opens a bookstore. Well, it, it probably is. It probably is because that's what he, this guy does. But excited to get that, and then I got two. Uh, John John Barth novels. I haven't read John Barth, but I've always heard that he was a really really good writer. Uh, the Last Voyage of the Some of Somebody the Sailor. It's one of his books. And End of the Road, which I think this one this edition came out in '67, which is always cool to see. '69 was close. So what was your favorite bookstore that we went to? Well, the more run-down one was harder to find things. And he seemed to have every single president biography except for the one I wanted. And then... My favorite was a new chapter, but I wanted new books. And they had the third book of the series that I had been looking for before I got started. I think I like the older one for the sense of adventure of trying to find anything. That's my, that's my vote. All right, that's well, it. Well, For the book recap. Oh. Now we're going on to the whole getaway. Oh, okay. Chat. So what was your favorite part about the glamping dome? Inside the glamping inside the, dome. Inside the dome? Yes. It's going to be outside or it has to be inside? Inside for now. <sighs> well, it wasn't the cooking space. Wasn't the cooking space. No. Okay. Very cramped. Probably um, the the see through ceiling. So first you like night, the stargazing. It's the first night we didn't see anything. The second night, it was you can see all the stars. Oh, hi, bud. Okay. What are you doing? My favorite was the glow in the dark pebbles on the floor, and I will insert a picture. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh my goodness! All the animals want me. You want to say hi? Want me say hi to the camera? Come here. Oh, this guy missed us. Huh. Okay, what was your favorite part about outside of the glamping dome? Uh, does it have to be a feature of the dome, or can it be anything? Anything. <sighs> Probably the view. The view. The view is wonderful. My favorite was the hot tub and looking at the stars the night before. 
the night, the second night. Oh yes, when you turn, when you turned, when she turned off all the lights, you could see every single star. It was amazing. Which you can see stars around here where there is too much night pollution, but yes. over there it was, you can see everything. It was wonderful. What was your favorite part of the whole trip? Um, spending time with you. That's my favorite. You lie. Your favorite was the hot tub. Mm -hmm. Don't lie to me. Right. Um. And um, I was gonna say something. I lost my train of uh, thought. The fire. The fire was my favorite. I, I love a good campfire. And I'm going to say this was one of the most relaxing trips and almost one of the best ones we've taken, I think. I think this, is, this beats Deep Creek. I think it does beat Deep Creek, which was our honeymoon. Um, but I think this is better. I think this is, I think this is better than Stonewall Jackson. I felt, more, I felt more relaxed at the dome than I did at Stonewall Jackson. I think this was the best trip we've taken. I think so, too. Um, Shepherdstown was a lot of fun. Shepherdstown was fun. All right, they guys. have a great bookstore. They do. That's it. We want to thank you for watching if you made it this far. Don't forget to check out WestVirginiaGlampingDomes.com to check all the domes out. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.